takes it to Aldridge. Porter in the corner. They get a hand on it. Outside over. Releases. And that one's good by Porter. Porter's got it back down to within single digits for San Antonio. You got it. Get the ball inside. The dish to Jack. They set the pick. Pass to the kid. Good, and Jack gets the assist. Jack's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, he's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Aldridge, the pass to Leonard. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Jack's shot is good. Jack's got the lead up to 12 now for Brooklyn. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Nets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Another part of their game that's made a difference tonight is all the second chance points they've been able to get. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Feeds it to Johnson. Lopez, a screen on Dia. Johnson's shot is off. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Duncan with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Dia. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Nets on offense. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Bargnani is screen on Leonard. Leonard brings the double team. Here's Bargnani. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. And the Nets lead by 14. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. Aldridge's screen. Shot clock at six. Porter in the corner. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Nine points for Otto Porter Jr. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Here's the kid. He's covered by Leonard. Johnson with a screen on Leonard. Leonard with the steal. Drops in the breakaway lane. Leonard's got 20 points. And the shooting has really been there for him today. But he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Jack passes to the kid. The rebound by the Spurs. Leonard's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Duncan kicks to all. Elbow shot. And the Spurs scoring again. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feel. Lopez a screen. The kid passes to Lopez. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, he's got to play without foul. Butler, he's checked in for the Nets. San Antonio also making some changes. Green comes in for Boris Dia. Miss Mills in for Otto Porter Jr. Aldrich is screen. Now here's Mills. Not a lot of room. Duncan with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Duncan dishes to Leonard. And it's Leonard again missing. Yeah, good tough D there to get a hand up and force that miss. That's example number one of why he is such a strong defensive player and why he has such a great defensive reputation. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Spurs trail by nine. And Mills gets to Duncan. Down low. Tipped away. Mills passes to Duncan. And there's the three-second violation. Three-second violation. Brooklyn ball. Here's the kid. Now Lopez deflects the pass. Here's the kid. Green kicks to Mills. Back to Green. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially, Greg, when you're...
you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Lock at six. Here's the kid. Busts the J after the KG passed it. The kid's got nine points here in the second half. Spurs trail by 11. Screen by Duncan. Let's the free fly. Mills can't hit. The Nets have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the feet. Pick by Barnyat. The kid passes to Barnyat. Gets an open look and hits. And the Nets lead by 13. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Spurs working the ball around now. Butler against Green. He kicks it to Mills. They need this one. Can't get it to go. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. That's good. And that's now 27 points for Brook Lopez. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Shots good by Mills. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. The kid passes to Barnyan. Here's the kid. Picked by Barnyan. Here's the kid, covered by Mills. A shot's good from the kid. And a nice spark for their offense here in the second half. Now above 50% for the game. And, you know, guys, that kind of offensive efficiency really keeps a lot of pressure on the opponent, and that's part of why the lead is what it is. Boy, look at the night for Marcus Alton. 11 rebounds and two rejections. He's getting it done, making plays by setting up his teammates and grabbing some nice boards, too. And also, how about the intangibles? All the little things that he's done, that's also really important. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. And that one's good. And that's 20 points for free. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Duncan gets a tight open look. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got four assists now tonight. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Here's the kid. Lopez a screen. Here's the kid, and that one comes up a bit short. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. And the foul called on Freak. And that'll be his third foul so far. Aldridge a screen. And Mills kicks to Green. Shoots from the elbow. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. Got it. Let's get the ball inside. Picked by Barnett. Here's the kid. Headed by Green. No good from the kid. And, and good defense there uh, to play up and get a hand in the face. Well, he's got a tough mindset. He's confident as a defender. And when you combine those two things, it makes it real hard to score on him. That's a shot he shouldn't be afraid to take more often. Got it. Get the ball inside. Lopez a screen. And stolen by Aldridge. Leonard attacking. Here's Duncan, and the lead is down inside single digits. Duncan's got six in the quarter. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play.
Jets leading by nine. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Here's the kid. Move the ball. Sticks it out to Johnson. Here's the kid. Shot clock at five. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Spurs trail by nine. Green dishes to Mills. Here's Aldridge. The free throws drops for Aldridge. No free throws good from Aldridge. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. You got it. Get the ball inside. Here's the kid. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for the kid. He has 20 points and the assist number is tremendous. His court vision is on par with anybody. I mean, he could not pass the ball any better than he is right now. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the three throw Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break. He got after them and told them to turn up the intensity, saying, we've put ourselves in the corner, and now we've got to fight our way out. Show me what you have, and let's see if we've got what it takes, guys. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Pushing it up. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Johnson. Here's Mills. Two minutes. He dishes it to Aldrich. Score the basket is eight. Eight for 13 from the floor. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. You got it. Picked by Barnett. One forty-one left to play here in the fourth, and Lopez throws it down. And how sweet a play was that! As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to sit up Clark that beautiful alley oop dunk. Yeah, it was nice, no doubt. There are assists, and then guys, there are assists. Here's Aldridge. That doesn't go either for Aldridge. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's held true in this one so far. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been the effort in general that's made a difference. Throws it up high, and Barnani throws it down. And, and if you thought this game was over already, <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's staring us right in the face, and we've been around long enough to know when a game is over. And this one is in that category. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Nets. They made more foul shots, and that was the difference. That was a huge advantage. Two free throw game, always a significant barometer in terms of who wins and loses. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. No doubt they came in very motivated to win this one and finish the season series at a game of peace. Absolutely. I mean, they had this date circled them on the calendar for redemption. I mean, you never want to lose two games and be swept. It can be harder in an East-West game than playing against teams in your own conference. So this is a big win for them. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight for the kid. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash over. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability.